Hello and welcome back to Handmade with Angela. My name is Angela and I will be your host this evening. Tonight we are making the first in a series of eight soaps in my luxury collection, the Sabbaths Collection, which is based on the Wheel of the Year, which is eight holidays throughout the year that are based in a lot of agricultural and very like earth-based, um, oh, I don't know what the word is, but I think you get my gist. So this first one is a holiday that is celebrated February 1st. It is called Imbolc. It is a fire festival that celebrates home, hearth, and the halfway point between winter solstice and the spring equinox. It honors the sheep giving milk again and has themes of renewal and birth. It's generally celebrated February 1st and it marks the beginning of spring. And each year on February 1st, I do little things like I plant seeds and I walk around my backyard looking for the first signs of spring. If you'd like to know more information about this holiday, I encourage you to head online and check out Google because there's lots and lots that you can learn about the holiday. Now, these... This series of soaps, I, pl I will be putting uh, semi-precious gemstones on each soap. This soap has an amethyst on each bar, and there's lots of great information online as well about amethyst and its healing properties and some of its um, the lore behind it. Um, amethyst is said to have healing properties that protect the bearer against negative energies. Some also believe that it has calming properties and will produce soothing dreams and make you more in tune with the divine. It's also said to give you clarity and peacefulness and help the mind flow freely. So one of the reasons I chose this gem for Imbolc was because this pagan holiday signifies the beginning of spring and the beginning of change and amethyst is supposed to help with making decisions when you're facing change. And again, like I said, if you would like more information on Amethyst or the Sabbaths, please feel free to leave a comment and I will try and help you out. I am by no means an expert. And there's also tons and tons of information online that you can find. Now, I just, uh, we'll get into a little bit about the soap here. So I have scented the soap in oatmeal milk and honey because grains are um, one of the correspondences for Imbolc. So I've included the oatmeal there, I thought, and the milk, and I thought that that would be really fitting. Um, some of the colors that are associated with Imbolc are silver and gold, so I've included those as well. And you're gonna see I make a huge error here. Um, and I d did end up turning the camera off by mistake and then not turning it back on, so you're gonna miss it all. But right here, I pour in my mica, my oil and mica, and I swirl it all up, and it's gorgeous, and I put it aside. Yeah, take a look back there. Do you see that? That is my fragrance oil that has not been mixed into my batter. So what I end up doing here in the blackout is putting the fragrance oil in and mixing it up. So my base is just this brown color instead of being a beautiful swirl. But anyway... I also decided to pipe a top with this, so I did separate out some of my batter and I didn't put any fragrance oil in it because this does discolor lightly because there is a little bit of vanilla in it. So I put my stuff, my extra batter aside and I let it um, thicken up quite a bit so that I could pipe it. And my recommendation to you, if you want to pipe soap, let your batter rest until you think it's thick enough and then wait another five minutes. Because no matter how long I wait, it still never feels thick enough, and maybe I'll get the hang of it at some point. But right now, I'm still pretty bad at it. So here we are, just piping the top on, and this is just a regular batter. It's just part of my batter for my regular batch. I don't make a separate recipe or anything for my piping. And I also, I don't really like the really high pipe tops. I think that they look funny when the bars are cut and you probably heard me say that before. So I do kind of uh, 
put just enough, I don't make extra batter basically for my recipe and I give it a little tap down so that it's not like, I don't know, it's not high and pokey and weird. So I'm going to add a little bit of oatmeal to the top as well because that is fitting in the theme for in bulk. And now I have my amethysts which are, these are a tumbled stone because, I don't know, I think that they look more aesthetically pleasing on the top of the soap. And one thing I've done, which you can't really see, is the mold, the wooden box is actually marked off. And what I did was, is I laid my bar cutter on top of my wooden box and I marked it out based on my actual lines on my cutter so that I wouldn't have to worry about screwing up and missing missing the lining perfectly so anyway yeah if uh, hopefully you understand what i mean since uh i'm talking gibberish <laughs> anyway i drizzled a little bit of uh, mica that is just in a little bit of olive oil on top of the soap and honestly i'm still not sure that i like it i don't think i would do it again and i don't think i would choose these colors again but that's neither here nor there because the soap is done so here we are, and you can see the outside is still beautiful and swirly and gorgeous, but it doesn't look like that inside because I screwed up and forgot my fragrance oil until it was too late. But the outside of the bar looks beautiful. And here we are, we're just going to cut it. So it's nice and pretty, sort of. I'm still on the fence about whether I like the way this bar looks. You can let me know in the comments if you like it. And also, if you enjoy this content and you want to get more of it, please remember to like and subscribe for updates. It really means a lot to to um, people, to creators if you like and subscribe to our channel. So here we go. I am just going to do the cut here and please let me know if you like the look of this bar at the end because like I said, I'm I'm not so sure that I do. But it does smell amazing. Oatmeal, milk, and honey is definitely one of my favorite scents. And there we go. So you can see it has some ground oatmeal in it as, as well. So it is, the outside is pretty. But yeah, it is a very plain bar on the inside. Um, the amethyst, as well as the piping, does give it a little bit of interest. And you'll see at the end that I did stamp the bars as well so so it has a little bit of interest I would like to thank you very much for watching if you've made it to the end and like I said please like and subscribe if you enjoy my content and even if you don't I hope you have a wonderful day and I will catch you soon.